I think I just found the fastest way to make some sort of lava effect in Godot. First, you will need some sort of texture, and you pick noise texture 2D here. Don't panic when it shows up magenta like this. It's supposed to show up like this, because you need to pick the type of noise you want in here, uh, which is the implementation called fast noise light. Uh, I don't know if they plan to add more options, or maybe someone forked different options. Not sure what this is for, but uh, you just pick fast noise light. Get in here, and you can see that there's many different types. They more or less function the same. I'm going to use simplex simple here. And I'm going to go to fractal, and then pick ping pong. I'm only going to need two octaves here, and I'm going to set my... Blue could it, how the fuck do I read that? Whatever. Um, and I'm going to set my frequency to something like uh, 0.004. Right. And you're gonna come here to color ramp and pick new gradient. So, what this color ramp does, I think this is an amazing addition to the Godot engine. Because you can set any sort of color gradient to be what those color values map to. Absolutely amazing. Anyways, to make the lava effect that we want, we're going to need a very saturated and a very dark red. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is animate it. I would you turn, up, turn on the 3D space, which will make it look a little different, don't worry about that. And I'll add a script. In this case, I have already made a script. So I'm going to come here, and at the start, you will see Extend Control, and I'm going to use the Tool Annotation, which in Godot 4, you use this Add symbol here. And what the Tool keyword does is to make this particular script run in your editor. I'm going to add a process function because this is a visual thing. And I'm going to add a speed variable. I'm going to add an offset variable to save the steps that we have walked. And I'm going to export the speed. And the offset is going to be incremented by speed times delta every frame that it processes. And I'm going to go to my texture rect, get the texture, get the noise, and then change the offset. Okay. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to give it some sort of speed going on here. Maybe like this, right? So I don't know if this is for safety procedure or something. But uh, apparently when you just added a tool script, it doesn't actually run as a tool script right after you finish writing it. And you actually need to restart the scene. And there we go, our animated lava texture thing. Oh, and by the way, does anyone know what this fractal type thing actually means? I mean, FBM, pretty much any visual guys would know it. But uh, rich and ping pong. So if you do know what those mean, uh, please give me the articles, the stuff, tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll be posting more Godot content.